Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist with Camping World, and today we're going to go over the 2018 Passport 2920BH. This is a quad bunk unit, so if you're looking to sleep lots of people, this is one you may want to keep your eyes on. Let's start over right over here in the kitchen. One of the things I like that Passport does very well in a lot of their floor plans is that they give you decent sized countertops with full size appliances. By that I mean the fact that you get a double bowl sink here as well as a three burner cooktop. Now this sink does have your sink top cover so you can utilize this as prep space. You can also flip these over and use them as cutting boards if you want. I say flip them over that way all your knife marks are on one side so that way you still have a side that stays nice and pretty. You also have the high rise faucet there making washing and rinsing dishes a little bit easier. And as I mentioned over here to the side is that three burner cooktop. The front burner is high output so if you're in higher altitudes need to boil some water that's the one you'll probably want to use. Underneath you have an oven so if you like to do baking you can utilize that. And then right here underneath the sink is good storage. You do have a couple different access points to this storage. You have, you can see right there in the front. Also over here to the side, you have another one in the back. I'll show you in just a moment. Take a look at this though, folks. You get two very large full extension ball bearing drawers there. So that way you have a spot in which you can put your flatware, as well as some of your larger utensils like your spatulas, if you bring a pizza cutter, things like that. Gives you a spot to put it. The other storage space, as I mentioned, is right up here. So as soon as you walk in, you have a couple different areas there. I personally would store my shoes on the bottom one, but again, you can do it, uh, do whatever you want with it. You'll also see this right here, which is a little courtesy light. So that way, you can just turn that on. So if you leave for the night, you come back, you just have that one on right there. Uh, that way you're not uh, you know, lighting up the whole place while you're gone. Or if you want to leave that on you know, during the night, you can do that too. So if you need to get up and use the bathroom, again, you have a little uh, light there. Looking across the top of the kitchen, you will see that you have a couple doors here. Big storage all the way across the top. You don't have any styles or anything in there, which is great. So you can fit some larger items. If you have like a big spice organizer rack or something you want to put in there, you can do that. Right underneath here, you will see you have an electrical out, uh, I'm sorry, a light as well as an electrical outlet there. So helps brighten up the kitchen. Also gives you a spot to plug in your coffee maker, things like that. Window, of course, there as well. Microwave over to this side and your hood right here with a light and a fan. You have the Dometic fridge freezer combo next to that. Cut out for some of your taller items there. A couple of drawers there as well. This one does run off both propane and electric and also has automatic switch over. You do have a vent right here in the kitchen, which will give you some cross ventilation if you want to open up some windows. Or if it is getting really warm out, you can always run the ducted AC right here. This one does have a quick dump option, so you can just flip that right there and all the AC will fill in this main space. That's really great to use when you're loading and unloading the camper because again, it helps cool off this area much quicker. Right over to the side is your bathroom. If we take a look in here right down below, foot flush lever toilet right there, you will see that you have a shelf built in, which is great if you wanna put some reading material there or maybe even a small trash can, you can do that too. Uh, maybe put the trash can down below, help hide some of the plumbing. Uh, you'll also see the countertop there, decent countertop space with an electrical outlet. Of course, you have storage under the sink. And up above the sink is a mirrored medicine cabinet. You have storage in that as well. You do have the vent right above the uh, toilet there. So if you need to, you know, open that up, you can certainly do that. And over to the side is the tub shower here. Uh, I will take a step in here just to kind of show you height. So just to give you an idea, I'm six foot. As you can see when I step in here, because of this skylight, I do have some good headspace here, so it isn't an issue. You know, if you are taller, if you're 6'3 or something, you may have to duck down a little. But for me, it is not a problem. Hand wand here, and then you have some shelves for your soap and shampoo as well. Then in the back is the bunk room. So as I mentioned, this one is a quad bunk. You do have 300 pound weight capacity on these bunks as well. So if you have adults that want to sleep in here, you know, if you're going like a fishing trip, something like that, you can certainly uh, have adults in here as well. Windows on all the beds. This bottom one does have a door. I'll kind of show you how that works when we go outside. This bunk here flips up so you have uh, excellent storage during travel. TV hookups right up top. So if you want a TV back here, that's where it'll go. And then you have storage here in the center. You will notice the top one has a hanging rod. So if you want to hang up some clothes, you can do that. And then you have space for folded clothes underneath. Right outside the bunk room, you have this versatile closet space here. So if you need additional 
uh, space to put clothes. You can either hang them or you can leave the shelves in here for folded clothes. All the shelves here are removable. Or if you need additional pantry space, you can certainly use that as a pantry too. Directly underneath that is your fuse panel. This will house uh, your fuses as well as your breakers. And then moving forward a little bit is the super slide. U-shaped dinette in here, which is awesome because, you know, that way if you want to sit around and play a board game, everyone has a little more elbow room. Uh, you know, same thing if you want to eat a meal together. Or you can drop this down into a bed. The U-shaped dinette does make a larger bed than your standard dinette, so that way you can sleep two more adults right here. A couple other things that I do like about this. One is the fact that you have the leatherette here on the seat which uh, is great for easy cleanup. If you have smaller kids, they're still kind of making a mess when they eat. Uh, th this again does wipe up much nicer than having to try to get stains out of cloth. And then underneath, you will also notice you have great storage on both sides. Fairly easy to get to because you have the swinging open door here on the sides. So rather than having to lift up a cushion and get in there, you can get in there right here. Right next to that is the sofa. So this is a tri-fold sofa. Comfortable sofa, not just to sit on, but also to sleep on, folks, because it does use the actual cushions of the couch itself. You can see this right here. This folds down. This is what your guests will actually be sleeping on. So it tends to be more comfortable than your standard pullout, and you know it's not going to deflate on you like an air mattress may. So again, that will allow you to sleep two more adults right over here. On that rainy day, if you want to watch some TV, that's where this comes in. The TV does come with the unit. It's connected to that TV is your multimedia center right here. This unit does control your speakers both inside and outside. It is Bluetooth capable and it's a DVD player. So if you want to watch a movie, you can pop it right in there. You'll see kind of like a decorative glass right up top, which is cool. When we open that up, you see there's a little bit of storage right up here as well as your connections for the TV there as well as the booster. And then right underneath is more storage. When we step into the bedroom, there's a couple things that I really like. The first one is the bed itself. Folks, this is a 60 by 80 residential queen size bed. So if you're a taller person, you're sick of your feet hanging off at night, you don't have to worry about it here in the passport. Another part that I enjoy are the doors. You have a door to the bunk room. You also have sliding doors here to the master bedroom rather than having curtains. So you get a little extra privacy. When the doors are shut, there's also a spot right here where you can put a TV. So if you want to have a TV in the bedroom, it is easy to view. Both sides of the bed have mirrored wardrobe storage. When we open that up, you'll see the shelf up top as well as the hanging rod right down below there. Uh, there are electrical outlets on the side of the bed, so if you need to plug in cell phones or CPAP machines, you can. And you have storage going all the way across the top. Again, you kind of have this cool decorative glass. You can take a look in there, though. Great spot to put some extra folded clothes. And you have two LED reading lights underneath in case you want to read a book at night. Now that we've seen the inside, let's take a look at some of the outside features on the Passport 2920BH. Right up front are your two 20-pound propane tanks with the cover there. Easy to get into. Just undo the two thumb screws, lift up the door, and you're in. Behind that, you have rails for your battery. You can see we do have one battery box there. Notice how there is enough room for a second if you so desire. You have the diamond plating coming up the front here to help protect the front end from some of the uh, debris and stuff that may get thrown up by your tow vehicle. Three-year structural warranty on there. They're currently the best in the industry. Light over to the side and right down below here on the frame is solar prep. So if you uh, plan to do some boondocking and you want solar, it's already prepped for it. All you have to do is buy the portable panels, plug it in, and it will trickle charge your battery. Coming around to the side is the pass-through storage. The thing I like about Passport, as you can see, is it's open in here. You have large doors on both sides, so if you have bigger items, you can fit them in on either side. You do have a light in there as well, and then you can kind of see the aluminum framings. Again, this is a fully laminated unit here. Talking a little bit about construction, if we drop down below, you'll also see this right here. This one has a huck bolt frame, folks. Uh, advantages of huck bolt frames, uh, there's a couple. One, they are easier to repair in the event that it does get damaged. They can just chop the bolts off, replace the entire section, bolt it back together. The other part of it is that the number one place that your frame rusts is right at that weld seam. So by limiting that weld seam, you help reduce the chance for rust to start there. Another thing you will notice is this right here. You have a fully enclosed and heated underbelly. So that way, if you want to do some extended season camping, you want to camp late into the fall, you know, as long as the furnace is running, it'll make sure that hot air is blowing underneath, helping to prevent your tanks from freezing up on you. 
You'll see the power awning there. Touch a button to roll that out. Same thing to go right back in. That one does have an LED light strip on there, so you can flip that on quickly and easily for light at night. And then the two outside speakers. As I had mentioned inside, those are controlled by that multimedia center, but it is Bluetooth capable, so you can be right out here and control it. Three foldable steps to get in, so that way, if you know, if you have bad knees, that first step's not a huge step. It's not very tough. Plus, you also have the foldable grab handle here, so that does give you a little bit extra control, making, again, easier to get in and out of the RV. Taking a couple steps back, we'll look at the wheels. Aluminum alloy wheels, folks, standard here on the Passport line, uh, in the Grand Touring anyway. Absolutely wonderful. Not only do they look great, but they will continue to do so because aluminum doesn't rust. You'll also notice how the wheels themselves are a little bit further apart. The reason for that is because they utilize the load equalization axles, which is essentially a widespread axle system. Uh, that's going to help in, with your towability. Basically, what it'll do is it'll help reduce sway, so that way this will be a better towing unit while traveling down the road. Right up above that, you'll see you have electrical outlet, so if you need to plug anything in, that'll be the place to do it. And right back here is your black tank flush. That way when you're done camping, you can hook a hose right up there. It'll help wash out your black tank of anything that didn't get removed when you dumped your tanks. In the very back, one of the things I love about bunks is the fact you often get an outside kitchen. And that's exactly what you have here. So you have your mini fridge, perfect for all your beverages, condiments, shelf up top. That's going to be a good spot to put some of your paper plates. Maybe you can put some, uh, you know, solo cups, things like that. Just kind of lay them down. Still easy to get to. And then right here is your pull-out cooktop. You have the wash basin right there. You can see your faucet here. This guy just hooks, or rather, this guy, sorry, hooks up to it right there. Nice and simple. And then right over here is the two-burner cooktop. So if you want to cook anything outside, this is where it will be done. Now you have to have propane, and that propane line will hook up right down underneath. You'll see right there is your propane quick connect. So that way, uh, you know, again, you can operate that two burner. If you have a grill or something you want to hook up instead, folks, by all means, you can do that. Uh, you just want to make sure that you don't have a regulator on whatever cooking device you're using because you will already have a regulator up at the tank and you don't want to drop that pressure twice. Right back here is your bumper. You will see that this one does have the end cap, so it gives you a convenient spot to store your sewer hose. Just pop that cap off, slide it right in there. Attached to that bumper is a spare tire. Hopefully, folks, you never have to use this, but in the event that you do, it's probably one of the easiest places to get it, uh, to be able to reach it at, and you also have the cover on here, so it'll be in good shape. Then right up top, you'll notice this one has backup camera prep as well, so if you want a backup camera, having that prep makes it easier to install, meaning it will save you money on labor. Right here on the off-door side, I mentioned this when we were inside the RV, you have this door right here. So. What you do is you open this up, and folks, do not worry, there is a deadbolt on this door. I know some people have security problems with it. You can deadbolt it. The only key that will unlock it will be the key that comes with the camper. You can't use a master key to open up a deadbolt, so you will be safe there. Uh, but this is the storage area I was mentioning, so this bunk is great. It's on struts. You'll usually want to remove this cushion because, as you'll see, it kind of grabs up top. If you take that cushion out, this will fold all the way up. You can just throw that on any of the other beds. And then you will have all this storage space in here, which is fantastic. Gives you a spot to put some of your larger items, like your big chairs, you know, if you have uh, like a small kid's bike or some other kid's toys. I know my three-year-old, whenever we go camping, we have all sorts of huge items we bring. And it's great to have a spot like this where you can actually fit them. Right up front here a little ways, you'll see this one does have the outside shower here. Your 30 amp power cord will be right up above that. If we drop down below, you will notice your termination for, in both your uh, gray and black tank valves are there. Right next to that are your low point drains. Uh, that big ugly mass you see there, I know it's not pretty, but it is effective. That is your uh, part of that insulation in your insulated underbelly. Lastly, your water connections are up front for both your tank fill as well as your city fill. All right, folks, that wraps it up. Again, this is the 2018 Keystone Passport 2920BH. If you're interested in this travel trailer and you'd like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description below. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping.